We are now in the second month of the partial government shutdown, day 32. 10 on your side has covered stories on donations and food distribution for federal employees without paychecks. But where do you turn when the rent is due and there's still no money coming in? Our Deanna Bedaneshi is on your side with some answers tonight. Deanna. Well, the Hampton Roads Chief Petty Officers Association says some financial institutions are stepping up to help, and they say it's important since workers still haven't received a paycheck. We've seen local businesses stepping up to help workers impacted by the government shutdown. And while every food drive or diaper drive helps, workers still need to pay bills. The active duty Coast Guard workforce has only missed one paycheck at this point. Uh, February 1st is the next scheduled pay date, and if we, if there appropriations aren't made by that time, then the active duty work workforce will miss a second paycheck. Ryan Doss, who's a member of the Hampton Roads Chief Petty Officers Association, says some financial institutions have offered support during the shutdown. We looked into a few. Wells Fargo says it's providing fee reversals and waivers to customers impacted by the shutdown. Navy Federal says the credit union is offering paycheck relief by giving eligible members 0% APR loans. A spokesman says it's basically an advance on direct deposits. They say the assistance has been extended into the second pay period for workers. Navy Federal also says there are currently 8.1 million members. 1,000 are eligible for this program, but only 16,000 have enrolled. USAA says their members may be eligible for deferrals on consumer loans and credit cards. It's really important right now for people, even if you have the money, start making those arrangements because we don't know how long this will last. Doss says the best thing that people can do is reach out to their banking institution to see what programs they offer. And coming up on Wavy News 10 at 6, Doss also speaks about another program working to help Coast Guard members get through these tough financial times. Deanna Beneshi, 10 on your side.